gamers, I hope you're all well and having a great week. I want to run you through my current Escape from Tarkov patch 16 graphics and performance settings that I'm utilizing through Windows and in-game client. First thing I want to do is go straight to my search bar, type in power plan. We're going to go choose a power plan. Make sure it's on high performance. If you've got an application that's controlling that, whatever that provides, just make sure it's set to ultimate or high performance. Don't want to be on power saver. It's going to ruin it and balance won't give you the full performance out of your components itself. Next thing you're going to do is type in graphics. We're going to go graphic settings and we're going to make sure that escape from Tarkov.exe, that's the actual game client itself, is set to your GPU. GPU preference, click it, set it to your highest on high performance. If you do not see your application itself, add a desktop app and then go to the game directory, add it from there. Next up, we're going to open up NVIDIA control panel. Now, once you're in NVIDIA control panel, adjust image settings with preview, which is the top left. You want to use my preference emphasizing and switch it to performance and then click it back to use the advanced 3D image settings. That way, if your NVIDIA ever defaults back to normal settings, it will always be based on performance rather than quality or balanced. Next, we're going to go to manage 3D settings. First thing I want you to do is scroll down a little bit until you see OpenGL rendering GPU. Make sure your GPU is selected and it's not on auto select. Then just below that, shader catch size. Set that to 10 gigs. Make sure you have 10 gigs free on your hard drive. Now, once you get to program settings for Escape from Tarkov, if you don't see it, click add, add it from the game directory once again, the exe file. Next, we'll go to anisotropic filtering, application control. This means Tarkov will dictate whether that setting is active or whatever you change. FXAA off, gamma correction on, mode off. Go down a little bit further until you see rendering GPU once more. Make sure your GPU is selected and then power management mode prefer maximum performance. Go down a little bit further until you see texture filtering, anisotropic sample, optimization is off and then negative load bias allow. Next go down until you see vertical sync and dial that off. Next up you want to go change resolution tab and make sure your refresh rate for your monitors are set to the maximum. I made the mistake of buying these monitors initially and playing literally half a year on 60 hertz when they're 144 hertz monitors. Absolutely cool. Next we're going to go to adjust desktop color settings. And this is where a lot of the brightness and all the rest will come from, especially in RAID. It is super OP. The main two settings that I want to change here is Gamma, dial it to 1.8, and then Digital Vibrance. You want to move that to 80%. This will make a tremendous difference to shadows, dark spots in game. You're going to love it. Hit Apply, save those settings. Next up, I want you to go to the game directory folder where Tarkov is installed. Battle State Games, Escape from Tarkov the .exe file, we're going to right click and go to properties. Now once we're in here, we're going to go to compatibility. We're going to go change high DPI settings. And then you want to select high DPI scaling override. Select this and cl click application. Hit apply, save those changes. And then next up, we're going to change the launcher settings. You're going to click under your name, go launcher settings. And then when I close the launcher window, exit the launcher. And when I launch the game, exit the launcher completely. This will save you a little bit of resource when you actually go into the game itself. On game tab, scroll all the way down until you see automatic RAM cleaner, uncheck that. And then also only use physical calls is checked. FOV, personal preference, I play on 75. It gives a little bit more wider field of view and also makes you feel like you're running real quick. Otherwise, if you want tap heads, 64 is usually a good range. If you want a true FOV for, you know, 1980 by 1080p is 59. It gives a true 90 degree angle view. Next tab on graphics, screen mode, I play borderless. You can run it full screen. However, alt tab quite a lot. So it's not a tremendous difference on FPS value, probably like five or so, nothing too dramatic. Texture quality, I run high just because I want to put a little bit more load towards my GPU. Tarkov is a CPU intensive game. If you don't have a good GPU or a CPU, put this at low or medium. Shadow quality, I run it on low. Object LOD quality at 2. Overall visibility, I like to play at 400. You can have it at 1000, which is quite nice. If you do play at larger maps like shoreline, woods or streets, and you have overall visibility set at 2000, it's going to render in trees, grass, objects, all that type of stuff at a larger distance. So it's going to give you a higher impact on your performance if you have it set high. Clouds quality, I set mine as high because I want to load a little bit more of the load towards my GPU rather than my CPU. 
DLSS, I have it on quality, DLSS preset. Now, this is where it gets really confusing for a lot of people. I have either B or K. I'll put the actual difference of them in the descriptions below so everyone knows what these mean. HBAO, I have maximum performance. SSR, I have it at medium. You can dial this off. This is to do with water reflections. It makes the game look a little bit prettier, but it does impact performance quite heavy. Anisotropic filtering, I have it on as per texture. My sharpness is at 0.6. It's a personal preference. Lobby limit max to 60, and then game limit all the way to 144, which is my monitor's maximum refresh rate. And then I disable the FPS limit. Now on the bottom checks, high quality color, Z blur, frame abbreviations and noise dialed off, grass shadows completely off. That will cook you if you have it on. Volumetric light, I do have it on just to help out with dark maps. And then streets of Tarkov, lower texture resolution mode on. Next, my post effects. This is all personal preference stuff. This is just to make it look a little bit better in game. It does affect your performance if you have post effects enabled rather than dialing them in NVIDIA control panel. So we just loaded into streets. So you want to hit your console and type FPS space one. We'll give you your FPS counter on the top right of your screen. Right now I'm inside a building. It's about 102, 105 average. It's still climbing actually. It should sit around 99. Mind you, I am recording and doing editing on the side as well. So I'm using quite a lot of resources um, and everything is looking quite nice. Now, one thing that I do like to change in game, depending on the time of the day and the lighting conditions, is on settings in your post effects if i visualize this you can dial down the brightness if it's too crazy so when it was snowy i used to play on negative 20 brightness now i average at about negative 10 anywhere between 25 if it's a nighttime raid i will dial it up all the way and stefano is my color grading um, preference this gives a little bit more of that white wash to the screen itself you can turn it all the way down or dial it up it just does help with dark areas again and so that's my graphic settings that I've been running. I hope everyone has an enjoyable time in Tarkov, man. And also, this is the key. This is absolute key. If you are running 32 gigs, get 64 gigs. I just did it recently. There is no stutter on frames or anything because the memory leaking in this game is insane. And once it spikes your RAM, you get absolutely cooked. This has helped me a lot to get a lot of stable frames mid-raid and to run streets on near maximum you know settings is quite nice so and this is butter hope you guys enjoy anyway take care peace peace <laughs>